Hey guys, welcome to Ellie Love Creative, and today we are talking about the Sony G Master 1.4 for the Sony a7 III. If you haven't, make sure you hit notifications so you can be notified when we post new videos. I recently was doing some beauty fashion photography and I was thinking, man, I'm in need of a good portrait beauty lens. I need a lens that I can shoot close up, you know, close up portraits, beauty products, stuff like that, skincare. And I've been thinking of a lot of the options. I, there's the 70 to 200 Sony G Master, the 135 Sigma, the Bodice 135, which I have yet to ever actually use. But today I decided to use the 85 1.4 Prime G Master lens, put it through its paces. How many times do I say put it through its paces on these videos? I don't know. And just see if it's a good portrait lens for me and for LA Love Creative. Now this is not a comprehensive review. I don't really do those type of videos. So this is just my first impressions, kind of testing it out with a Tamron 28 to 75 because I have it in my kit already. First thing I like about the G Master 85 1.4 is a lot of the other options are very heavy. My first option when I was thinking about a lens like this was I was gonna go for the 70 to 200 G Master 2.8. I think that lens is amazing, but it's very heavy. And for me, if I'm gonna actually buy something and use it on a regular basis, it has to be a little bit lighter so I can actually um, use it and not feel tired and stuff. I'm out of shape, y'all. I'm out of shape. Uh, I don't have a lot of muscle. What I loved about the 85 millimeter is it was lightweight um, compared to, you know, a bigger telephoto lens. It was high quality the way it felt and it was fast and it just felt like a good lens for all around portraiture and beauty work. quality perspective, this lens is very sharp. The images that come from the 85 G Master Prime is like, they're, they're like butter, butter, buttery images. Um, I will say that a lot of times when I was shooting with the, the model, I wanted to get closer in on her. I wanted to really get close and, and try to get those beauty macro shots. I know it's not a macro lens. I just really like the look of the 85, so I figured I would get as close as possible and crop. But when I was using my Tamron 28 to 75, I really liked the fact that that lens could actually get a little closer because it's almost like a macro lens. If you really need to get really close to something, the minimum focus distance is not that close. So just keep that in consideration. Perfect for portraits and stuff like that. I was thinking if I really need to get close up, I would possibly purchase a a7R3 because with those 42 megapixels, I could crop into the image without having to worry about close up or macro shots like that. Another thing I really liked about the G Master is the autofocus is very fast. When using it with the a7 III, I felt like it was a breeze shooting a lot of quick shots. With the eye autofocus that the a7 III has, a lot of the shots were very sharp. I felt like the 85 millimeter was a good companion for the a7 III. Color-wise, if you're shooting with the 85 millimeter, I think it really renders colors really, really well. A couple of the shots I shot with the Tamron 28 to 75, I could see a slight color difference with the images and nothing you couldn't fix in post, but a slight color um, difference when I was comparing the makeup that my makeup artist was actually doing on the model. I could see that the colors were a little bit different on the Tamron than on the Sony 85. But as far as, you know, color rendition, that lens does a really good job as well. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get the 85 millimeter G Master yet. I do wanna try out the Sigma 135, and I really wanna try the 135 bodice, just because I feel like 85, I might need a little bit more reach, but the 85 G Master might end up in my camera bag. Time will only tell. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you share, like, subscribe, and comment, and check us out next time. I will be doing a Fuji X-T3 camera review. Finally, I know everybody probably is like, please do that camera review. What are you doing?